Oh love, oh love, won't you rain on me tonight? Oh life, oh life, please don't pass me by. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop when the red lights flash Oh ride Free ride Won't you take me close to you Far away, far away Waste away tonight I'm wearing my heart on the news Far away, far away Waste away tonight Tonight my heart's on the loose Hello ladies and gentlemen Welcome here to Talladega Super Speedway We are here for the Abercrombie & Fitch 499 on the pole we have a new driver and I guess that this game likes her a lot because JC Chris is making her debut here in the um, Phillips Cup series she will race one race for well, last week or last time I um, we had mo or uh, we had a moment with Chris Aiken turning turning Ingel and Bliana in the wall while they were already under caution they were racing back to the line, they have. I know that because they have. Uh, if you look at the other minute, other video, around 14 minutes or so in the race, you can see them real slow, and they have to uh, stay behind each other. And Chris Aiken decides to turn Ingela Mliana, and I have heard nobody else's opinion except for Ryan Anderson's. He will disagreed with me, but only one person won't do it. So that's why J C Chris is making her debut over here in the Phillips Cup series, Cup series uh, although half of the points she will get will go to Chris Aiken, half the points so um, not that big of a penalty for Chris Aiken um, and he's, he doesn't really matter that much he's 31st in points so um, let's go to the chasers because we have well um, Tessa Jackson again starting up front she's starting third position last time she started third she won the race indeed it was at Watkins Glen I don't know what it is with that Nickelback car and I, I will show you in the end ladies and gentlemen I will show you the ratings are all the same for her too this is just for you to know that the ratings are all the same if you don't believe me um, and on the other hand we have second to points Chris Summers starting all the way in, in the back and there you could see it. Oh, this is this is a better camera view. Um, then we have Chase Nor. Oh, Chase Normal, third in points. There he is, right next to him. Fourth in points, Joanna Darcy. Um, there she is. She's starting. Oh, that way. Uh, she's starting midfield. Okay. Then we have the 44 of Logan for Jason McCaudoff. Excuse me. He's, st oh, he's starting next to Logan Chris, which I wanted to say first, but he's also starting, um, well, pretty midfield. Uh, midfield is something you don't want to be at Talladega. Well, you don't want to be in the back at, at all, so I wonder how this will go. Um, then we have number 37, Larissa Vandervoet. She's starting, well, more towards the front, but still mid-back. Uh, then we have the... Th 39, oh, we'll do it like this, oh, there the 39 of Marshall Rich, starting right behind her, 7th in points, 8th in points is Sam Brady, he has fallen from 4th to 8th with the DNF, and he's also starting in the back, 9th in points is Sean Howell, we saw him, he's right in front of Larissa Vandervoet, then we have 10th in points, Adam Jones, oh, and he's also starting two rows to the front, and he's starting in sixth position that's pretty good you want to be up front and Colin Cropley in number six car is 11th in points uh, there he is all the way in the back and then we go back all the way to the front again for the number 40 car of Jason Phillips so 
So that's your starting grid with on the pole in a, making her first start, JC Chris. This will also be her only start of the season, probably, uh, except for when she will maybe uh, replace Joanna Darcy next time, but I'm not sure. And she also ra doesn't race for points, so she can participate for the Rookie of the Year next season because she will be full time racing next season. Um, then replacing Joanna Darcy probably for good, forever. J JC Chris, well, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but somehow she has turned out to be on the pole position in the first ever start. And on her outside, we have number 23, Connor McJackson, who's uh, also looking to make some good things happen. He has had some pretty good. Oh. I, I I put my paper where everybody finished the uh, races down or downstairs, but anyway, JC Chris is coming around. The pace car pulls off, and we are growing green flag racing here at Talladega. You should hear the tune song from Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama now, but I don't have it with me. So, ladies and gentlemen. We're in, anyway, we're going green flag racy. JC Chris in her first ever race from the pole will lead them to the green flag now. Oh. <laughs> now watch that back stretch. Is there going to be a problem over here? Last season there was a problem at the exit of turn 4. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, contact, contact. Contact. Still three wide. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Trouble is out. We have a lot of cars spinning. And a big one. On lap number one is a fact. We see Greg Berkowitz involved. Logan Chris, Ron Anderson, Kathy Katerra, Aaron Williams, David Nannan involved, David Emerson involved. And race back to the line, it is still. Oh. I want to keep an eye on these guys. Fuck. Look, that's better, that's better. I will tune up the sound just to make it more interesting. So, big one on lap number one. Well, it wasn't as big as a wreck as last season. Colin Cropley, Elizabeth Ross, these guys. Uh, uh, Michael Shedd has some damage on this front of this car. But at least it wasn't as big as a wreck as last season. So, they took out one wreck. <laughs> that one wreck took out already half the field on lap one. That was not fun at all. And I, up, I um, put the um, drafting distance a little bit up just to make sure that it wouldn't happen now only thing I'm afraid of is that we will go green flag all the race but I don't think we will ha do that so anyway JC Chris still up front let's take a look at what happened over here lap 1 turn 3 and 4 well yeah there was some tip mm, derp. There was some typical Talladega stuff. Um, you can see them r driving three wide, four wide. And here going into turn number three, Larissa Vandervoet, number 37, has going to get into the 22. She has done it more often. And then eventually the 22 goes around, slides down. There's Logan Crisp involved. The 16. Oh, man. the six, Look at this job the 16 does. And eventually he gets run over, but that's 16. Steven Bush did an amazing job of avoiding that. That was impressive by Steven Bush. Chris Summers also went through the grass. Ah, oh, Sam Brady, chaser involved. Let's take another look at this. Uh, I think we will have to go now to the 42 car, not the 44 car. There you can see it happen in front of him. Another camera angle, maybe. 22 gets turned, 77, and there eventually the 42 has nowhere to go, and he slides down, collects the 12 car, the 8 car involved. Inge Lamliana gets a big piece, and eventually everybody else starts piling into it. Nobody flipped over though, luckily. 
Last season, remember James Qualls flipped over ten times in turn two. James Qualls not in his not in his series anymore. While well, he was, he ended up third in points. I wonder where he went. Should come back maybe. James Qualls, if you hear this. Um, so yeah, we'll go on board now <laughs> with the number sixteen car of Stephen Bush, and also keep an eye on how tense this racing is. If you don't know it yet. Ah, oh, you probably don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Stella Vega. Oh man, it's so unfortunate that he got hit in the back, but otherwise it would have been the best wreck avoidance I've seen in a long, long time. Now one person we go on board to is second in points Chris Summers starting in the back and that's why you should not start in the back. Wow that was also real good. He got I think a little bit of damage when he hit the 91 car I don't even know if he hit it and the uh, 29 car but that's like minimal damage to all those guys and I think that everybody el everybody will be alright so let's go to the race once again green flag with JC Chris still in the lead so we're back again and I said that nobody probably would have retired well there are five cars that have retired including Inga La Muliana last, uh, the winner of last um, time and 22 is also not here the 08 is not racing anymore and I believe the, f the 42 car is also not in the race anymore and some others but no chasers so that's good still 12 chasers in the race and some guys do have to get good finishes now uh, otherwise their chance of winning this championship will be over we will probably have and he this, at the end of this race just a few guys who can win this championship for next season it will be great at Charlotte but we are going to continue over here with Chasey Chris in first Jason Phillips second third Joseph Vanessa fourth Sean Howell fifth Will Myers sixth Jason McAuliffe seventh Ray Caster eighth Adam Jones ninth Connor Breen and tenth Tessa Sao Jackson she has fallen in one lap from second to no from third to tenth and she was second when coming out of turn number two. But JC Chris still leads the race um, and she leads them to the line. I think it's one of the first times we've actually seen the 09 car up front. We'll see how she will handle this thing. And the 40 car is one of the chasers who needs to get a good finish. 12th in points. He can still win this championship but he has to do some good things. As he now moves up high, look at the 44 come on the bottom, trade train, pushed by the 15 car, the 66 is there, JC Chris is doing very smart staying on the bottom, and the 40 car does not, but he gets help from Sean Howell, oh, now she moves up the racetrack, and there is the 40 car, Jason McAuliffe, he was the points leader after, oh, no, wait a minute, we go four wide over here. Oh man. Four wide. Four wide. That is not going to get work. Not going to work. Chasey Chris all the way up. She's going to fall back a lot, but there's still four wide. Can they sort it out? It seems like they can. Whoa, that was some nerve wracking racing. And who's actually in the lead now? Still swerving and again four wide. Oh wow. There's some real tense racing over here as now the 39 moves to the bottom. Ray Caster is in the lead and he leads another lap. But that 39 car is coming on the bottom. Zachary Robertson goes with him. He flipped over, remember, he flipped over at Daytona. In the major wreck on lap 
Well, I don't even know what lap it is. There we go. Trouble. 20 car in the wall. They saved it. But Connor Breen lost a lot of time and he has damage now. And here are also some slower cars. Including Sam Brady and Chase Normal as chasers. And Brody Telly has had some problems. And is the caution out? No. Caution is not out. And that means that the 39 of... Where did Larissa Vandervoet come from? Where did Sam Brady... Where did the 21 come from? I mean, like, you t don't look for a few moments. And all of a sudden, you have all other drivers up front. And where is JC Chris now, actually? She has fallen way... Oh, she's going four wide again. But she has fallen way back. That's probably because of that accident what happened with the 20 car. But now Marsha Rich goes to the front. Angling side trying to get by her on of by him on the outside. And look at the 9 car. The 9 car of Joseph Vanessa. We have said he is not a good super speedway racer. He's proving the difference as he moves to the front. And he goes down low for the lead. Four wide. Oh, contact! Whoa, that was a major save. That was close. Joanna Darcy hit the 9 car in the well, right rear. And now it is the 12 car who moves up. He's a good super speedway racer. We know that. Austin Talley. And Mason Wood is now coming to the front. There's the 40 car once again. And we will have left traffic, by the way. In the name of Brody Tally, he has lost, lost the draft. I don't know what his problem is, but the, he will get in the way of everybody. As we went 10 laps without that much, without a caution. Or, yeah, well, we didn't go 10 laps without a caution, but we had some trouble and some close calls. So, everybody, here comes the four car again. Four white. Yes, well, well, why not? <laughs> four wide. Oh wait, we have a lap car up front. Let's go four wide. Three wide now. Test out Jackson trying the middle lane, going to the front. And Mason Wood, what are you going to do? What way are you going to choose? Connor McJackson coming to the front. And there is Colin Cropley. He started all the way in the back. And there is the zero car. He was all the way in the back. Great Talladega racing, but the lower group is going to be held off by... Oh, there we go, trouble! And the 12 car goes around, and the 9 car, big hit! Oh man, what a bad... Oh man, more bad luck for Joseph Onesto on Super Speedways. And the 40 car of Jason Phillips. As we're under caution now... Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, that's what I mean. Elina Sauter directs and takes Tessa Sau Jackson with her. And the four car is almost going to flip over. Wow. And the 15 car, what are you going to do? Ray Caster, look out! Oh man. The 15 car is on the, stuck on the apron or something. And all of a sudden everything goes wrong again. And who survived it? Well, these guys did. There's rookie J JC Chris. Oh man, a lot of damage to Alex Jones. And Zachary Robinson. All these guys have a lot of damage. How bad is it for Tessa Sao Jackson? She was involved. Elina Suiter has a lot of damage. Well, <laughs> well, more trouble. And... Four car has to line up over there, but he will pit. So, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at what happened over here with the 12 car, the 9 car, and the 40 car, and then after that, the 15 car, 21 car, 4 car, 10 car, and a lot more. I had a feeling something was going to go wrong over here. Well, indeed, it happened, and it was the 9 car who turned the 12 car around. And there's Joanna Darcy, and she eventually has nowhere to go. Not that much damage to her, though. But check out the 9 car now, as he's going to hit the 24. 
And there, extremely hard hit for the 40 car. Jason Phillips, is he going to in hit the inside wall? No, he, dis he isn't, but still, his day is done. And that means that Jason Phillips, who was last in the chase, will this will end his chances of winning the championship, unfortunately for him. So that means that we have only 11 cars left that can win this championship still. And some others may also be in jeopardy of having the same problem there as we go now full speed nine cars turns to 12 car oh what the heck camera view oh man that was a hard hit for the 40 car and then when you thought well okay that was everything let's um let's go everybody now you can see still four wide i ha said i have a bad feeling about this well, indeed, the 60 car, 66 is going to turn Alina out into the wall. Tessa Jackson gets the piece. Great job by a, a, most, a lot of cars over there for avoiding it. And then the 15 car is on the apron. Yes, this is what happens to him. Four car also had nowhere to go. There's where Tessa Jackson actually got a pre got a lot of damage, but I wonder how what it will happen to what that will do to her. So another wreck. Still haven't seen the huge wreck, but I don't even know if we're going to see that. Well, <laughs> I might have jinxed it, but anyway, um, time to go green flag right now. Well, only three cars retired from that wreck, or from those wrecks. The 40 car, Chaser, uh, the 9 car, and the 66 car. And that means that Adam Jones will also fall out of uh, Chase contention. He was 10th in, uh, or championship contention, he was 10th in points. And he's not going to gain a lot. On the inside, you can see the 77 and the 15 lining up, lap down. Connor McJackson is in the lead. Second is Colin Cropley. Third is Trevor Holt. Fourth, Chris Summers. Where did he come from? Fifth, we got Evan Catuso. Sixth, Mason Wood. Seventh, JC Chris. Eighth, Nick Caswitz. Ninth, Jason McAuliff. And tenth, Keith Batson. As we will go through the field, there's Chaser da Jason jo Joanna Darcy. Jason, what? Um, Chase Normal as Chaser. Chaser Sam Brady, 22nd. Chaser Sean Howe in 26th. Chaser Chessa Jackson in 30th. And that's it. Base car pulls off. That means that we're going green flag racing. Connor McJackson in the lead. Looking still for his first win. Remember, he was also up front all day long. Or... Uh, he survived the big one, I would should say, at Daytona. And he got a top 10 over there. Ouch, my ears. Come on, go work. As we go green flag racing. And Colin Cropley starts <laughs> to get aggressive immediately. And the 77 car beat the 23 car to the line. I'm not sure if that is allowed, but... Wow. <laughs> Four wide. <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, like... Four wide already after... <laughs> or just when we're one turn in the race and Chris Summers takes over the lead and we're still four wide and I have a bad feeling about this oh man oh man the six car gets a heck of a run over there and the 77 car is holding up the top lane a little bit and I wonder what will happen over here well, JC Chris. Oh, the 15 car gets turned. Into the does he hit the inside wall? He slides through the grass and he saves it. And caution is not out. And th there's JC Chris. She's going. Oh, look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! She has the 41 car right on her bumper, but that will help her now. Oh man, nerve-wracking racing. 
while she chose the right race to uh, make her debut, the most aggressive race of, of all, JC Chris, proving that she is um, going to be strong next season, or not proving it, but showing that she is a good race car driver by nature. She has never driven a race car, probably, for sure. Um, Larissa Vandervoet has moved up to the front. Look at look at the block that the 09 car g gets or gives on the 39 car. Ah, not enough. There comes Marshall Rich to the front and moves down low, going four wide in the few rows back. Mason Wood, Colin Cropley, going to the front, and now Mason Wood moves down low. Three wide. Three wide, three wide, three wide. JC Chris is again on the high side. She's going to fall back. Now also the 39 car is going to fall a little bit back. Probably. Why? Well, the 6 car is up front. Another chaser. 44 of Jason McCaudoff. And I think... No. Um, Sean Howell is way off the pace. And these guys are also a little bit off the pace. Oh, trouble! And Chris Summers involved! Joanna Daro, man, major hit! And we saw there JC Chris involved, and she's going to get, get hit by the pace car. But we had a big wreck over here. Oh, look at, look at the pace car. Well, I don't think that, that the pace car... Is that the speed of the pace car? That means that the pace car was running 170 miles per hour. Well, that's okay. I want to know that for mo or right after that for a moment. But we had a big wreck again in the trioval, including some chase. Oh, chase normal. Third in points. I don't think that that's going to help him. And still, don't. Oh, we'll see what happens over here and who will retire. The zero car took a big hit. He got struck by somebody, but I don't know by who. I think it was. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I don't know. We'll see what happened over here. So it was the seventh car of uh, Trevor Holt who got in the back of the 36 car of Joanna Darcy. Remember, Joanna Darcy also got in the back of. I don't know who it was in the beginning of the race. And. But this was a little too hard of a lick. And there the 36 goes up the race. Takes it to 37, the 39 and the 09 car with him. And keep an eye on the 0 car. He's going to get... Oh, there was oh there was the 91 car. Took a big hit over there. I think that it may have ended the day of 91 car. JC Chris, oh, there, oh, pace car, pace car, pace car. He's running. Whoa, look at the speed of the pace car. 200 and, whoa, 215 miles per hour he ran. As a, as a top speed. No, 216 miles per hour. The pace car ran faster than the race cars. I mean, what? We'll have some onboards from this. JC Chris, bad break. Well, welcome to Talladega. Welcome to the Phillips Cup Series. And the two car, Evan Gattuso, also was pretty strong over there. 91 car, and Larissa Vandervoet goes around. And seven car avoids pretty much everything, but. Time to go have some on boards over here. We'll go on board with Joanna Darcy. And by the way, the graph, the graphics of this rate or of the cars are a lot higher thanks to again Ryan Anderson. He uh, told me or he gave me some what I have to do to make the graphics higher. Well, keep an eye on this. <laughs> Wow, it's always such an... Whoa, look at the pace car. <laughs> look at the pace car. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I like that pace car. It's always such a helpless feeling when you have no idea what, um, what happened actually. You suddenly you're you're just driving through normally and then suddenly you get turned sideways. It's such help you have no clue what happened. So, on board with Chris Summers once again. Ow. 16 car hit him. Whoa, come flying through there. But it's just. Oh, and then the 89 car hits him. He thinks, well, I have to win this championship. The, oh, 90, the 89 car. Tessa Jackson, I think she missed it, but she was off, she's off the pace. Or at least she was in the back. And they crossed the start finish line spinning, so that's also interesting. Or most of them cross start finish line spinning. Anyway, Colin Cropley up front. Let's go green flag racing. So we're back again with the only news that the 91 car has retired Chase Normal. And he will get in jeopardy of not getting in the chase. Well, I think that only we'll only have like four or five cars left maybe who will... Who can who are able to win this championship, but still chase close up everybody again. It will be exciting. Colin Cropley in the lead. Second is Jason McCaldoff, two chasers up front. Third is Connor McJackson. Fourth is Will Myers. Fifth is Pro. Oh, he's 32nd. He's a lap one lap down. Fifth is Keith Batson. Sixth is Mason Wood. Seventh is Billy Bishop. Eighth is Larissa Vandervoort. Ninth is Marshall Rich. 10th is Trevor Holt, and then there you could see Chris or JC Chris is in 11th still. Uh, Chaser Joanna Darcy 13th. Um, by the way, these two guys have the same paint scheme, or except for that he, Adam Jones is driving the FedEx Express car, and Dave Emerson the FedEx Freight car. I've made or if there are a few cars, few teams who have the same paint scheme. Just like the 33 and the 07, the 01 and the 36, and I can see 11 and 18. Tessa Jackson in 18th chaser. Uh, Sam Brady 20th. Um, and Sean Howell in 28th. And ooh, Chris Summers 31st. He made a pit stop probably, but he has a lot of damage. So anyway, green flag racing right now. And the only savior for Chris Summers is that Tessa Jackson is also not or pretty far in the back. Um, so yeah, Chris or Colin Cropley is still has had a good jump over here. By the way, we have only six laps left. Three cautions. That's better than one than uh, one major wreck on lap one. <laughs> And uh, on for the rest of the race, no. But one thing I surprised we had had no flips, knocking on wood so that it won't happen. But there comes Connor McJackson. He has been strong all day long, and he's going to get a good run here on the six car. Is he going to pull out? He will help. Will have help from the 77 who is lapped down. Mason Wood in the five car down low. Billy Bishop is there, teammates, and Larissa Vandervoet is still up front. She was also involved in that wreck. There were a lot of cars involved in that wreck. Also, uh, JC Chris and uh, can we get to the 39 car there? Marshall, Marshall Rich was also involved. Once uh, for one moment we will go to oh man JC Chris where are you going up high? That's not the way to go. We'll go to these guys are off the pace. That's uh, Jackson in 20th now, and Joanna Darcy in 18th. And by the way, Tessa Jackson, I think she has to finish. Um, she has 22 points more than the zero car. I think she has. To have 47, no, 46 points more than um, Chris Summers. So if that, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to calculate that. In my head, I don't want to. I'm lazy. 
Larissa van der Voet looking for her first win. Oh, you should not go up high then, but still looking for her first win. And there is Trevor Holt also looking for a first win. Keith Batson looking for his first win. <laughs> JC Chris looking for a first win in the first start. Billy Bishop has won three times. Mason Wood can still win this race as Larissa van der Voet now slides back. But we will only have three more laps, no, four more, no, three more laps to go when we cross start finish line. And Colin Cropley is still in lead. Also, he's looking for his first win. Oh, here comes Keith Batson. Here comes JC Chris. Keith Batson and JC Chris, pole sitter of the, his own nine car. And Keith Batson has had a lousy season, as I quote him. He has had a bad season. I mean, like, he's 37th in points. Now Colin Cropley puts the block on the 09 car. JC Chris, can she get a good run on him? What a story that would be for JC Chris. I mean, like... Oh, here she comes. Where is Mason Wood instead? Go no, Mason Wood is going to pull out. And that will put the 6... If they keep on passing the, the number 2 car, or the 2nd place car, they will not get towards the 6th car with just 2 more laps to go right now. Colin Cropley. How important would this be for him to win? Very, very, very important. Only problem for him is that he is 62 points behind Tessa Jackson. Oh, here comes Mason Wood. Here comes Mason Wood. Oh, one and a half lap to go. Will Myers also looking for his first win. Coming to the front now. 23 car. All guys looking for, a fir for the first win up front. Mason Wood. Can he make something happen? Here comes Conor McJackson down low. Larissa Vandervoet slides to the, goes to the front again. But we will get the white flag over here with Colin Cropley in the lead. This will be the best last lap you've ever seen as this 99 car hits the wall. Who will it be? Who will it be? Will we have the 6 car he has been up front forever from the restart? Can the 5 car make one move? He has to make one move down low and he will pass the 6 car. Can he have a good run? Mason Wood? Not yet. He's waiting, he's waiting. Is he going to wait for the trioval or if he is he going to be too late to make a move? Here he comes. Mason Wood, can he pull it off? I don't think so, I don't think so. I will think that Colin Cropley will win this race, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go to camera two because Colin Cropley is going to get his first ever win in the Phillips Cup series. And that group was Tessa Jackson and here we got Eline Suiten and another green car, 89 car. And I think everybody has finished right now. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh. Ah, oh, base car, that can also help. And there, the 29 car. And even more cars over there. The 38 car. And Chris Summers. And Colin Cropley has won his first ever race in the Phillips Cup Series. Who finished second, actually? I don't know, even know who's finished second. Oh, Mason Wood, of course. And JC Chris... Got a top 10 for her first ever start. Oh, the 44 card blows up. He finished 7th, so that's a good break for him. Holy smoke. Like JC Chris say, used to say. And what, like, and what I, I noticed. Uh, JC Chris and Tessa Jackson say a lot of times, holy smoke. And I, I just noticed that holy smoke is a song from... Um, from uh, Iron Maiden, and they <laughs> and they don't like Iron Maiden, so that was funny as hell. Colin Cropley is just a diff point a zero point zero eight six difference between Colin Cropley and Mason Wood. Colin Cropley got his first ever win. Will be happy about it? Oh, I think he will be happy. And there you could see. And I think that Tessa oh, Tessie Sada Jackson finished 18th. 
and Chris Summers 29th. That's a difference of 11 points. Not enough <laughs> for Tessa Jackson to uh, clinch the championship. Um, I think they will el eliminate Chase Normal, as that was 29 points difference, and between 18 car and uh, 91 or the 10 car and 91 car is 18th and 34 is 16 points. So that means that from 29th is 13. Yeah, I think we'll uh, Chase Normal is eliminated. Joanna Darcy though, 24th. That was a difference, a points difference of um, 34 points. Yeah, 34 points difference. Well, I think Joanna Darcy can still win this championship, but she has to be real good. And then, now we will just see. Jason McAuliffe in the 44 car, he finished seventh. And, um, oh, yeah. Jason McAuliffe will get will be able to win this championship, or can still be able to. Fin Everybody in front 10 car, and who was, uh, well, you, you, you know what, we will, we will just see anyway Colin Cropley won Mason Woods second third is Connor McJackson fourth Billy Bishop fifth Christopher Martin Larissa Vandervoort in sixth position seventh we got Jason McAuliffe eighth is Will Myers Keith Batson in ninth and rookie JC Chris in tenth position will be back full-time next season but she won't be in the 09 car that means that she has uh, she has 34 car points is um, 15 is uh, 17 points will go to um, Chris Aiken and by the way no points for uh, JC Chris she just runs for that one race maybe she will be back next season or next time for jo J Joanna Darcy but I'm not sure because Joanna Darcy can still win this championship so um, yeah <coughs> we have discussed the top five in, in uh, finishes. Also, Larissa Vandervoort. She was six in points. Uh, fif 50 points behind Tessa Jackson. Well, she's only going to gain 12. So that means that she's 38 points behind. Um, yeah. It, actually, it's just like to be Larissa Vandervoort. Can still win the championship. If she wins the race, Tessa Jackson finished dead last. Just like Chase, Chris Summers, Joanna Darcy, and all the others, then the rest of Vanderwood can still win his championship. Uh, Marshall Rich in number thirty-nine car finished eleventh. Um, he has he was oh he was fifty-one points behind Tessa Jackson, seven points. That means that he can also w still win this championship, <laughs> but again the same story as Larissa Vanderwood. He will be um, 51 min minus 7 is uh, 44 points um, behind Tessa Jackson. And this is if we assume that Tessa Jackson will keep the points lead, which we will, she will probably do. Um, Sam Brady in the 89 car, I think he is uh, done. Um, he was, fi yeah, he's, he's pretty much done. Sean Howell is out of the championship contention. Adam Jones. Colin Cropley, I'm only curious for him. He will get 47 points in Tessa Jackson. Well, what, but just calculate how many points Tessa Jackson will have. We have 34 is um, 29, 28, 27, 26 points for Tessa Jackson probably. And Colin Cropley will get 47 points. That's 21 points. Um, and the difference was. Well, uh, 62 points, 21 points is 42, 41 points. So the six car can also still win this championship. But hey, he has won his first ever race of the Phillips Cup Series. I hear an uh, airplane or something above the racetrack. But <laughs> anyway, and then we go to the retired people. Logan Crisp, Dave Nannan, Inge Lamoliana, Greg Berkowitz, Ron Anderson. Jason Phillips, Joseph Onasto, his bad luck at Super Speedways continue. Adam Jones and Chase Normal. And Ray Caster was three laps down. Also Brody Telly won. 
Um, Evan Catuso, he managed to finish 31st, last on the lead lap. Chris Summers 29th, well, Sean Howell 28th. So things will get interesting over here with just one more race to go. We are going to be headed to Charlotte Motor Speedway when next week probably. Expect that to be either Saturday or Sunday and not on Friday because I will have to take the time. That is going to be a long race. If you have if you seen the final countdown 600 from last season, the whole video, including everything else, lasted. What was it? Um, yeah, <laughs> sort of um, to one hour and 40 minutes, 14 minutes. So yeah, Colin Crumpley has won his first ever race. And the top 10 was within one second of each other. Let's go. Um, I didn't want to show anything. I, I, I don't know if I want to show anything. I have something in mind to show, but I don't know what it was. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? Never mind. Um, three cautions we had this race. more One more than last season. Only difference that we didn't have as big as a wreck as last season um, which is which is good I like I prefer to have a race with yeah I don't know what I prefer I just like Talladega <laughs> anyway I loved it and this race was a good race so um, yeah ladies and gentlemen I'm going to round things up over here um, I will see you next time at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the final race of the Phillips Cup Series Season 3 up um, sign-ups will also be that weekend, probably. I have decided to uh, make Season 3 the two, with the 2006 uh, Sprint Cup Series. No, Next Talk Cup Series, I mean. I've already downloaded the cars. They're um, new teams. A few cars are already taken, or at least I will go, I'm going to put some uh, friends in there. Which will probably be the 10 for Testa and Jackson, the 01 for um, Inge Lambliana, the 14 car for JC Chris, and a 43 car and the 45 car probably for uh, Eileen Suit and Larissa Vandervoet. What I'm going to do, well, I will explain that later <laughs> with the sign ups. Don't be afraid that you will miss the sign ups because the si last time. The signups it was open for like five days, so if you just stay tuned, um, you will go. You will probably be able to sign up for this. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm how I'm going to do it. With first, I want these guys to sign up, and then these guys. I'm not really sure. I will probably do that with first chasers, and some commenters or people who have commented on like more than half of the race. I'm not sure how we'll do that. So that could also be a, just a heads up for you, more than half of the races. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that, because if I only if I then have like 35 people, now I I have only commenters on every race, for like um, for by like four or five or six people. So yeah, anyway, going to round things up over here. I've said it a couple of times now. I will see you next time at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It was a great race at Talladega, and I will see you next time. Phillips Cup Series Season 2 2012, goodbye. No, not goodbye, till we meet again.